Australia's Marine Science Agency is testing a new AI system. It aims to help restore the Great Barrier Reef by planting baby corals in exactly the right spots. The system uses small boats fitted with cameras that look at the seafloor in real time. And it's all part of broader efforts to speed the reef's recovery after recent mass bleaching. Mark Gibbs is from the Australian Institute of Marine Science. The system's called the DGS or Deployment Guidance System and what it does is it, it allows us to uh, deploy corals or place corals exactly where we want them to go on the reef because we deploy the corals from, uh, from boats on the surface rather than scuba divers and so we need to make sure that they go exactly where we want them to go. Right now, people are driving the boats. But AIM says the goal is to fully use autonomous vessels in the future, so they can plant many more corals. Onboard AI looks for microhabitats that young corals need, and triggers timely drops to cut guesswork and improve accuracy. When we deploy these devices, we deploy this ceramic device with the corals on board, that gets deployed from the boat, it kind of falls down, it's quite heavy, so it falls down and, and generally lands um, um, very close within a metre or so where, where we want it to land. Uh, so we, the placement is, is very accurate um, and it's underpinned by the work that the AI system does to understand what's beneath the boat at the time and whether or not that's a good place to plant a coral. The efforts follow major losses of hard coral on the Great Barrier Reef, which has suffered severe bleaching in recent years. In 2025, AIM said the reef's northern and southern parts had suffered their worst annual loss of coral in nearly 40 years. Now, it's hoped that planting new corals in the best places will give the reef a better chance to recover.